Good morning, my little learners. How are you? I hope all of you are in the best of your health. Today is 30th of April, 2020. So did you check how's the weather outside today? Yes, it's sunny and it's getting hotter day by day. I hope you are drinking enough water to keep yourself hydrated. That's great. So let's see what do we have in our class lessons today. So today kids, we will have our first lesson of English in which we are going to learn about a new letter. After that, we will do our maths worksheets and at the last, I will tell you a story about a little cloud. So, let's see what happens in the story. So, my lovely students, are you guys ready for some singing? That's great. So, the first song which we are going to sing is about days of the week. So let's sing together. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We go five days. We go five days. We go five days to the school, two days holidays, two days holidays, two days holidays in a week. There are seven days in a week. Well done, my children. That was great. So let's move to our second song. The second song for today is the months of the year song. So let's get started. January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months in a year. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months in a year. Fantastic! That was very good singing from all of you. My dear students, Today in our English lesson, we will learn the letter formation for English letter N. Then you will write your names by using different textures. And then at the last, you will paint a spring flower. Dear parents, the letter formation page is for you to check how to form a letter correctly. When your child writes alphabets, please make sure that the formation is correct. My lovely students, today in our English lesson, we will learn about the letter N. Do you know what sound it makes? N. Mm. N mm is for nest. N mm is for nose. N mm is for nine. So let's sing the jolly phonic song for the letter N. Children, put your hands out and pretend to be an aeroplane. Let's sing the song. Making lots of noise. 
well done children now let me teach you how to write the letter n take your pencils and start from the top draw a standing line going downwards then go to the top again and make a curve and then go down good job now trace and write letter n at the last line let's be creative dear mommies please help your child with this activity it's a great activity for letter and re name recognition you will need different textures which are available to you at home take a plain paper and with the help of a thick marker write your child's name your child can then decorate it with the materials provided by using a glue you can use pom pom sequins glitters small pieces of colored paper or even lentils or rice whatever material is available to you at home you can use it let them feel the texture and ask them how they feel let's paint a spring flower my dear students as you can see on this page a beautiful flower i want you to make it more colorful and beautiful by painting it in any way you want my dear students in our maths lesson today we are going to practice writing the numbers from 1 to 10 then we are going to trace different shapes writing numbers my lovely students on this page you are going to trace the numbers from 1 to 10 you can also count the number of objects in each picture and write the numbers at the end you can color all the pictures with your color pencils trace the shapes my students on this page you can see five different shapes circle square rectangle triangle and a star so you are going to trace all the shapes and color them by using a color pencils at the end you will make it into a beautiful scenery my little readers the story which i am going to tell you today is called little cloud and it's written by eric carr before starting the story i would like to ask you something where do you see the clouds hmm yes we can see them up in the sky and sometimes we see different pictures and shapes in them so let's let's listen to the story about this little cloud and its imagination the clouds drifted slowly across the sky little cloud trailed behind the clouds pushed upwards and away little cloud pushed downwards and touched the top of the houses and the trees the clouds move out of sight little cloud changed into a giant cloud little cloud changed into a sheep sheep and clouds sometimes look alike little cloud changed into an aeroplane little cloud often saw airplanes flying through the clouds little cloud changed into a shark little cloud once saw a shark through the waves of the ocean 
Little cloud cheat into two trees. Little cloud liked the way trees never moved and stayed in one place. Little cloud changed into a rabbit. Little cloud loved to watch rabbits dash across the meadows. Then little cloud changed into a hat because little cloud changed into a clown and needed a hat. The other clouds drifted back. They huddled close together. Little cloud, little cloud, they called. Come back. Little cloud drifted towards the clouds. Then all the clouds changed into one big cloud and it rained. The end. So kids, try to look through the window and discover your very own little clouds. Let your imagination work. I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you, my little students. I hope you enjoyed today's lessons and you have learned something new. I wish you all the best and have a very, very nice weekend. I will see you very soon. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.